Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some E4. I think we're going to reform into a monarchy. I think... I think this is the best... This is the best idea. So... I become Chinese, Chinese. I become a monarchy. I'm an empire. Right. I've obviously lost... Oh, and I get the first thing... Refer oh, I forgot about these as well. Income from vassals, 25%. Unjust demand, 10%. Plutocratic idea group and no aristocratic idea group or income vessels and vassal force limit contribution. It's one. I mean, I probably prefer just the income. Do I want plutocratic ideals? Is plutocratic good? I don't think I've ever taken it. I actually don't think I've ever taken the plutocratic idea group. Holy shit. I actually don't think I ever have. Mercenaries, 10% morale, unrest reduction, merchant, goods produced. Caravan power, manpower recovery speed, institution spread. Yeah, that's not good. No, I'm not. I'm not going to take that. <laughs> um, unjustified demands, probably. They're a way to improve your economy with mill power. Right. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's a bit late. I think. Okay, I think we'll go unjustified demands, uh, so I can take more crap later on. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably what I want to do. Income from vassals, eh. I don't really have a lot of vassals, and I don't actually- Yeah, I th goods produced would help, but... Nah, nah, nah don't worry about it. Cause that's not- that's not super efficient, just thinking about goods produced just from going down a whole idea group. Yeah, it's all institution spread, it's fine. Let's go unjustified demands. The next one will go tax modifier, manpower. Pretty efficient, no, probably goods produced then. I get in 13 years, okay. I'm already making seven ducats more. I just got the achievement, Populist in Government. And I've switched. I don't, have I never had that since they did that? Jesus. I lost all my Tribal Conquest CBs. And I can intervene. And there are my estates. Oh, baby. Trade efficiency. Okay. Grant them Monopoly. Take that support, yo. Oh, there we go. The nobility. We'll call a diet. we crap out of that prestige. There we go. You don't need to see me admission. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, let's start giving things that I need for trade to the relevant people. So, like, these guys to merchant guilds. Increases their loyalty massively, their influence massively, and their percentage of land by 4.4%. And yeah, that will really, really help. Bitchin. Probably Funzao as well, considering it's a trade harbor. Nice. Minimum promise, but removes it for production efficiency, trade power. It actually lowered it a little bit, but that's okay. That makes them very happy, and it means I can start to get big piles of stuff. Whoa! I'm making tons of money! You were not lying. Yeah, let's try and get their influence really high. Let's just basically give them everything... Everything that's a trade. It's like an important trade province. Oh shit, this is good. Oh, man, look at that. That's not bad at all, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Everything is getting better. Why didn't I do this earlier? God damn it. No. Nope. Nothing for it, really. Gotta keep checking these states. What do we got? What do we got? This is gonna be a state episode. Oh, man, look at that. Just keep improving those trade efficiency bonuses, guys. I'm also going to be able to get massive Diplo support, but let's let's just keep going. Give them everything that has trade and is in my control. Oh, damn. What's the state I should make the most? Yangzi and Kinai. Oh, hell yeah, I should make Kinai a state. Let's go. Nice. Right there, merchant guilds. Boom. Oh my god, that was valuable. Oh yes. 
Promote Japanese culture. That's not a bad idea at all, my friend. Where is it? The hell? Not there. Oh, it's... It's the Seguko culture, isn't it? Oh, that's weird. I don't actually have a Japanese culture. It's only Seguko. That's annoying. But yes, let's promote Seguko. Boom. Okay. Money. Stonks. Okay. All right, let's keep going. I want to give them more influence. Anywhere that's... Closing us there. Right here as well. Merchant guilds. Boom. Anywhere else that has the valuable trade provinces that I have. Ba -ba -ba. Anything else that I've stated? Right there. Orium. 50% right now. Loving it. Haven't stated that, but that's okay. We can do a couple more states, but this is cool. Probably South Zhilin. That makes a lot of sense, I think. Because yeah, I don't own that yet, but it seems to be a damn good idea to do so. Uh, let's give that to the Merchant Guilds. Amazing. Okay. Trigger Burger Revolting some Demands and Trigger Court and Country. Oh god, yeah, we have to do Trigger Court and Country as well. I forgot about that. Can't wait for that. We just kind of need to keep giving these guys things. Anything with grain, I'm going to give to my nobility as well. What religion am I? I am the religion of peace. <laughs> no, I am. Um, I actually went Buddhist. Weirdly. I also want to try and give stuff to the monastic orders. Um, which provinces should I be giving to my clergy? Triggers to accept rebel demands for autonomy, then lower autonomy. You don't get arrested to get tons of... Yes, that's true. So give the clergy ones with crappy goods and give nobility the ones with the most manpower. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, to be honest. Great this. Monastic. Boom. Perfect. Just find all the ones that are crap. good. Look at that. I want to get them to 60% so I can make, get those dank bonuses. Oh man, I'm actually going to be making money. I don't understand. Also, dev cost is really lovely. Oh man, we're just going to make stuff back. Okay. This looks like a good nobility one. And I want to get them to um, 60%, don't I? Because that's when you really start getting the big bo the big boons. I feel like I don't play around with this enough. You know what I mean? Because it's 60, you get 20% trade efficiency and a little bit dev cost. For clergy, at 60, you get... Oh, shit. Do you also get other things? You get, like, devotion or whatever? Nice. Oh, the province modifiers are so good. Local cost. I forgot about the province modifiers. 10% local goods produced when they have high loyalty. What? That's so good. And nobility, manpower, defense, and this. Eh, I don't care about that. So, yeah, let's try and get their, their influence a little bit higher, right? It's going to be goddamn hard to do. I definitely feel like I do not play with this enough, you know? All right, let's go to let's go to the actual estates and let's really start playing with this. Okay, now I, I need the states. 
All right, so those are my state. These are all my states. Perfect. Okay. And this is genuinely actually helping. It's not really increasing their value very much, but that's okay. Yeah, so nobility basically lowers everything. Kind of makes everything garbage. Okay. Just going to kind of go through, find out. So look at that. Definitely give that to the nobility. Oh, it kind of lowered my income there, but that's okay. Oh my god, actual money. Uh, I'm going to leave that one alone because the gold doesn't affect it. Does it? She damaged me. Ah, no. Crap. Shouldn't have done that. Ow. Really hurt. Fine. It's fine. Fine. I'm gonna keep giving them influence until they shut up. There we go. Anything that's even slightly valuable gets monastic orders. This can go to my beautiful nobility. What's up, fuck? How's it going? Nobility. Gnastic. Nobility. I'm basically giving all the grain ones to the nobility. Because that seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, you know, it promotes manpower, right? Ooh. Mm, rest, tax modifier. I'll leave that alone because that makes me a lot of good gems. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Sorry this is a little bit boring to watch, guys, but I gotta do it. I gotta make sure everything's hunky-dory and copacetic, etc., etc. Province owner is Republic, or development is at least 10, and province trade power is at least 5. Boop and boop. There you go. Open them out. Ow, that actually hurt me. Come wise. Yep. Yeah, watching Eldra figure out estates bit by goddamn bit. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yes. Paper. Oh. Love it. Give me that paper. Literally, give me that paper. Merchant guilds. Boom. 63%. There it is. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay. We're going to keep finding all the ones that have... Perfect. All the ones that have nobility. Okay. 50%. Okay. Recruit a minister. I will indeed be recruiting some ministers. Okay. Looking really good. I don't think I'm going to be able to get uh, necessary things that I want, but that's okay. Oh, that's good. I mean, I could try and get the nobility up. That's going to become coal one day. I don't really want to Mess my stuff up. I think I might just give them all these crap ones. This. I think I can get them to... I think I can actually get them to the necessary levels. I think I can get them to 50%. To 60%, rather. Here we go. Interesting as you go further west start to encounter provinces that I haven't raised to the grounds. <laughs> Interesting indeed. Okay, there's a couple ones here. Yeah, I mean, this is all manpower right here. There it is. Boom. 60%. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> 
Playing Rainbow for the first time. Oh my god, you haven't played it before? Holy crap. Gotta do that. Um, I can't seem to recruit a minister. Okay, so I have to get them to 40%. Oh yeah, I was supposed to use recruit a minister again. Okay. So I need to just get the rest of them to monastic. I got I gotta get them to 40%, obviously. Oh, gold, how I love thee. Just gotta get them to 40. There we are. Almost there. And boom. Okay, we're gonna recruit a minister. Oh, almost there. And an inquisitor. Yes! Oh, that's the stuff. Mm. Uh, but you need 75 loyalty to get the next boost, don't you? Unless influence us. So if I can get them to 75. Different merchants, I can do that by getting the yearly inflation reduction. Like this. Boop. Oh, that's nice. Give me that Diplo support. Oh. Okay. And for these lads, I can then once again recruit a minister. Oh, there it is. And give me that mill power. Oh, that's good. Okay. Very good. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get the admin points, but that's okay. I will... Oop. Oh, I could get a thousand tokens. Yes. Pay the loans. Okay. Every year I'm going to be able to pay a loan, maybe-ish, possibly. Awesome. We get to live. For, like, a tiny bit longer. Let's go kill Wu. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Let's, let's just convene our troops here. We did it, guys. Now we need more rivals. Ottomans or Russia? I mean, Russia makes a lot of sense. Who are these guys' rivals? Russia, Yuan, and Mamluks? I mean, I could rival the Ottomans, and maybe I could try and get them as an ally. Yeah, let's let's rival the Ottomans. And for the love of God, can we start to improve relations with these guys, please? Okay. My income is now very high. 32 ducats. What is with my fort maintenance though? Royal Marriage from Korea, yes. Uh, let's start turning off some of these forts. Try and save a little bit of cash. And there we go. And we do have some advisors we could be getting. Land force that modifier. I do kind of need the points, honestly. And they are too expensive for me. So I have a stab cost modifier. Or, yearly inflation. Oh, that's too much money. It's too much money. I can't afford it. 36 ducats. That's not bad. We gotta try and pay down these loans. This is the thing. Oh, we did it. Okay. Looking good. Now, here's another question. When was When is court and country gonna fire? Absolutism is of at least 50, alright. Obviously I want to try and get as much absolutism as possible, so... Anytime I can decrease autonomy is good. Literally any instance in which I can decrease autonomy. Okay. There we go. That's going to help out my absolutism. Just that little bit. Look at that, I'm already on five. 
little bit of discipline, a little bit of admin efficiency, a little bit of foreign core duration. Yeah, that be, yeah, it's pretty easy to do this. It's just, oh boy. Ah, I have Shandong as a, where, where's Shandong culture? A bit of cultures. Okay. Yeah, that is a pretty high amount of my dev. Do that. Looking good. Okay. And Zhao is back to being my bitch. Thankfully. Let's go kill Wu. Oh yeah. Get a big pile of cash off of them. How many troops does Wu have? Reverse that. Wu has 12,000 soldiers. Okay, we're fine. And they are tech 15. Very slowly, it is expanding and growing. I have printing press and stuff here. Okay, so I do have a couple things that are expanding. Lin Zhao is one of them. Where's it got 138 power to do anything? Jesus. Anything else that's spread even slightly? No, it's not really anywhere. I could spend a bunch of points to try and promote Lin Zhao. Also give that to like merchant guilds or something. It doesn't seem efficient to waste all my points that way. Be fine. It's gonna make a bit more money. Pay back some of these loans. Every loan I pay back is gonna mean I don't have to pay more things. Unhappiness among merchants. I will lose the mercantilism. Thank you very much. Just wait a couple months. Oh. My, what's, what are my rebels like? Oh, thankfully, I have crazy high rebellion unrest reduction, which is good. Decay and accuse of favoritism. His services are required by the state. Lose karma or gain karma. Uh, do I want to lose or gain karma? I guess I kind of want to... I probably want to lose karma. Yes, I want to lose karma. Bye-bye. Because I want to be in the middle as much as possible. That's it for the episode, guys. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment on the video. Let me think of the series so far. I was Aljok and Tangent. This has been E4. Thank you. Bye-bye.